Hello everyone, I'm Piyush Agarwal and I'm here today to teach you guys uh, about a new package on A2019 which is um, like the PGP, how the use of encryption and decryption package. So let's start with creating a new bot that is PGP package demo. Through this package, uh, we would be able to send or receive our data with in an encrypted way over the internet which is like today's most important uh, requirement all, all around the world because since everything is going digital there is a need that the data which is on the internet should be encrypted in a way that no third party can access that data so let's see uh, what we have with pgp in pgp package automation anywhere a2019 gives us three packages or basically three commands first is create keys then decrypt files and encrypt files. So let's start with the first uh, activity, create keys. So here, if we see in the create keys package, there are uh, three fields to be filled. First, location to save the public key file. Second, location to save the private key file. And third, the uh, password to protect the private private key file, which is an option key. Okay. So let me first tell you the what is a public key, private key, and how they are used. Public key is what basically we share with the client or basically to someone else. Okay, like for example, I would create a public key and save it on my Google Drive, which can be accessed by my friend. Okay, like uh, let's name her Pratiksha. She can access my public key file. And that private key file is something which would be saved with me only, no one else. Now, if Pratiksha wants to send some data to me, she will use the public key file to encrypt her files. So such that once I receive the file, no one in the middle, even if they get access to the file, can access that data. Because those files can only be decrypted, can only be accessed using the private key file, which will be available only with me. So now let's see how we create these uh, files. First, let's click on the browse button. It is asking for some uh, location. Okay, so I will just select any file over here for now and open. Now, here location to save the public key file. I will give another name. Let's name it public key.txt. And similarly, in the private key, I will generate a private key.txt. Okay. Now, uh, okay, let's see. Password to create a uh, protect variable key file option. Okay, so we can do either create a credential from the credential one, which will I will be explaining in the later videos. Then we have got variable and insecure string. So today, also let's cover up what are variables and how we can create them. In the variables panel over here, we can create any number of variables of multiple types. There are so many types of here. Like if you go to type, there we have got form, table, record, dictionary, credential. Okay, so now for this, like we will be creating a string type variable since uh, there's no too much need. Uh, let's name it uh, private key. And I will just at the start as I would uh, put an epic as state for string, then value for my private key pass. And let's set him default value. So like uh, only password, you can just give anything. Make sure that no one knows this password. Okay, then in the variable section, we press F2. So and click on insert. Okay, one second. Does not return a credential value password. Okay, I cannot insert a value over here. Okay, maybe it requires some kind of credential variable. Let's try once. If I just go over here, credential, insecure string, password. Now if I see, okay, now it's accessible, credential value. 
so a2019 will give you access to the variable panel only if you create a uh, variable of the specific type which is required okay now let's save and run the bot i hope it will create a uh, two files first is the public key and another would be a private key which should be like the most secure file let's wait it's uh it was doing a 300 kb of download and the bot is running okay the bot was run successfully now let's see what we have got so over here i got two keys one is private key and another is public key okay so this key is something i can share with anyone and this key cannot be shared with anyone remember this thing very important okay now let's see the other packages what we have uh, in actions panel i will go then i have got encrypt file and decrypt file now with this encrypt file activity i can encrypt any kind of file using the public key and type private key that i have created so we i am just disabling this action and let's go with uh, encrypt key let's see again what we have got we have got encryption type we can either give a passphrase or use a public key file so we will go with this and the desktop file we need to give a path so I will just copy paste it from here and let's paste it over here. Okay. So next we have got encryption algorithm. So there are uh, different kind of algorithms available with us. Two fish L256, triple DS, uh, cast pipe. I am going with AES256, which is uh, like a very good al encryption algorithm. Now it's asking for source folder or files the files which i want to encrypt to be shared with anyone okay so i am giving path to some folder i need okay i will just create another one for this demo let's say pgp demo folder and inside it i need some files so let's create some demo files for this demo one hello viewers Welcome from any name. Okay. And okay. So now our bots should encrypt this uh, PGP demo folder and the files. Let's browse that folder and select it. So I will go to desktop and select the PGP demo folder. And oh, file I will select. Okay. It's asking for a destination folder file. Let's copy paste this one. And instead of this demo1.txt, we will just give the path to a folder. Now it's asking for add file extension. No, I don't need. Override file with the same name. No. And then I have got compression type. What kind of compression I want to create? None. Okay. Let's see, I just want that uh, it should be encrypted properly. Okay, so this is, I have done set the properties for the encryption and let's again run the bot. It will most probably again do some kind of downloads for 300 KBs or 300 or 200 KBs, which is like the package installation for the bot to know that what next time I'm supposed to do. Oh, it gave an error. Source and one of file cannot be seen. Okay. So source and destination path can I will just change that. Let's just keep it desktop and run. Hmm. Okay, this time it went successful. Let's see what has happened with our file. So here I have got a demo1.txt file, which is I guess our encrypted file. And this is our PGP demo, the original file. So let's open it. This is the original file. I am able to open it. And this is the demo file. Oh, this is corrupted. Like it's, I cannot understand what is this. This is called encryption. Modify the data in such a manner that no human can easily understand or decrypt the data. Okay, now, I can send this file to anyone else. Okay, suppose 
Pratiksha has got this anchor uh, public key. She used her demo1.txt file to send over to me and this file which will I will get as a user. Okay, now me Piyush will use this private key to decrypt this file to know what I, I received as a message. Okay, so let's disable this action again and we will go with decrypt files option. Now over here again i will use the private key file option and we can copy the data from this over here location uh, over here let's move to desktop and paste and do have we created any kind of variable yeah so for to protect the private key i have created a credential value so we will need to pass that over here as well so let's create f2 credential value yes insert do is there any need for this if i say i'm able to access this private key yeah then what is the need well if you uh like a bot won't be able to access the file without this credential value properly okay so next i am going for source folder or file so basically it's asking me for the encrypted file which i i have like i got from like uh you know received from picture so that file is over here demo1.txt let's open it and now i want to um, decrypt this okay so let's get this back over here i will delete this file now i want the same file to be present over there i will go to the local file folder desktop pgp demo okay let's copy this one and paste now uh, overwrite file with the same file name hmm let me give a name demo overwrite file with the same file name i am just giving a demo destination folder or file so remove file extension okay let's see probably either we need to give a file name over here or just a folder name so we will i will just give a folder name for now and let's see what my what happens i'm not sure first time trying it's fun to explore things in a2019 or basically in rpa exploration is the key to success so let's see what happens okay the board has started executing it ran successfully now let's see i have got the demo1.txt file back to me which is like decrypted successful yeah awesome so guys this is like a very useful case you know here i just gave path to the encrypted file or we can give path to some kind of zip file or full for complete folder which is all the data encrypted and a folder path over here in which should contain the path to the decrypted files so you know this is a very useful tool given by 2019 we can use this in our real time projects such that for example a bot is there to process some kind of data we needs to be uh, sent to the manager for verification what we can do we can before sending we can uh, make sure that the all the files gets encrypted using a private public key and that same public that same encrypted files would be sent over the system over the network and the manager can just use the public private key that he already has to decrypt the data so you know many kind of attacks such as one of the famous man in the middle attack could be uh, could be prevented easily so i hope you all might like this video if you uh, if you wish you can uh, log on like go over to my channel like and subscribe for more videos and shows and uh, like i have created another video for to understand how the database works with the a2019 with the basics of sql as well so if you like this video like comment and share and best of luck for more exploration thank you